One of the most important aspects to any pop star's image is their fashion style. It not only helps differentiate them from their peers, but it also helps their brand come to life in music videos and performances. While most pop stars do have outfits unique to them, if there is one piece of clothing that has been consistently a part of everyone's closet, it's the cone bra, a piece of undergarment defined by its pointy cup shape and decorated spiral stitching. Like with most of pop music's greatest inventions, it all started with the queen of pop, Madonna. In 1990, she and fashion designer Jean-Paul Gaultier collaborated to create an outfit that would be recreated by pretty much every pop star known to man. In this video, we're going to discuss the history behind Madonna's cone bra and understand how its legacy remains with the pop stars of this generation. Let's get into it. Before we get into how Madonna's iconic comb bra came to be, let's get a bit of a refresher on her career up to that point. During the 1980s, Madonna had a reign over pop music like no other. She was consistently churning out mega successful albums and pushing the boundaries of what could be said and shown in mainstream entertainment. One of her biggest controversies thus far was the release of her lead single, Like a Prayer, off her fourth studio album. The song was featured in a massive ad campaign for the company Pepsi. However, the day after the commercial was released, Madonna released the music video for Like a Prayer, which featured her dancing in front of burning crosses and kissing a black saint. The music video caused outrage amongst religious groups, and the backlash got so bad that it led to a direct call from the Vatican to boycott Pepsi and its subsidiaries. Pepsi ended up pulling the commercial down and canceled their plans to sponsor Madonna's upcoming tour. Despite this, due to the sheer popularity of Madonna, her record label greenlit the tour and it was later named Blonde Ambition. Early on in the creation of the Blonde Ambition tour, Madonna was set on fashion designer Jean-Paul Gaultier designing the clothes. For those of you who are unfamiliar with his work, Gaultier was very much like the Madonna of fashion in that he was known for his boundary breaking and unconventional designs. Madonna had been a fan of his clothes for a while and actually wore one of his corsets to the premiere of her movie Desperately Seeking Susan as well as one of his tutus in a Harper Bazaar photo shoot. Madonna had fashion photographer and close friend Herb Ritz reach out to Gautier and he eventually got him on board. Gautier described his time working with Madonna as one of intense stress, claiming he had to go through 35 aspirins and 1500 sketches before Madonna was satisfied with his designs. Gautier actually had experience making cone bras before ever working with Madonna. He first debuted an exaggerated version of the comb bra in his fall-winter 1994 collection. His inspiration came from the 40s and 50s as comb bras were a popular bra design amongst women due to famous actresses such as Marilyn Monroe, Lana Turner, and Jane Russell sporting the bras under tight sweaters. Madonna sporting the cone bra corset simply by itself though grabbed the public's attention in a way that none of her outfits had before. She gave the look so much depth, as the comb bra was typically associated with old-fashioned femininity, but with Madonna's muscular body, the look also exuded authority and power. Since Madonna's initial debut with the bra in 1990, almost all the main pop girls of today have either recreated the look or completely reinvented it. In 2008, Lady Gaga started the trend when she wore a bra that shot out fireworks. In 2010, Katy Perry followed it up with the bra that shot out whipped cream. And in 2014, Ariana Grande reinvented the bra into a rocket launcher. The list of artists could go on and on, and it doesn't look like the trend has any plans of slowing down, as Doja Cat was seen with the comb bra earlier this year for the Planet Her photoshoot. 
The comb bra that Madonna and Jean-Paul Gaultier created will forever be iconic. It has become a part of pop culture and fashion history. Though Madonna doesn't always get the credit she deserves, she has undeniably become the blueprint for so many pop stars we know and love. Oh, and if you're wondering where Madonna's comb bra is today, it actually could be in your closet. Last week, Gautier launched a runway rental service, unlocking the vault of his 30,000 piece archive, which includes the cone bra. It's an interesting thing that a lot of fashion houses are starting to do due to the fast growing demand of vintage couture. Comment down below if you would be interested in renting the bra. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, it would be forever appreciated if you liked and subscribed. To be notified when a new flashy video is up, feel free to hit the bell button after subscribing. For more pop culture content, make sure to follow Flashy Magazine on Instagram. That's all for now. Thank you guys again for watching, and we hope to catch you at the next video real soon.